What is going on everybody? I'm Melty Gore and we are continuing website development on the MeltyGore.com <coughs> website <coughs> for my channel. Um, and before any of you try and go out and screw me, I already own the domain, so sorry. Um, uh, this video is going to be fuzzy because it isn't a hosted website yet, so it hasn't been updating what my most recent video is. Um, not a big deal. Uh, I'll look into that later. That's honestly just a placeholder. I can fix the code anytime later on. I'm assuming that's part of the issue. So we have the social buttons. All of these are looking good. We got the nice text, um, which if you notice a little bit of tweaks, that's okay because I did mess around with this a little bit um, after we finished our last episode. I uh, added a store page, but I'm going to go over exactly what I did. Um, so I started... A store page for the merchandise stuff, um, which looks like this, which is all I've done, um, and it's actually got extra there. It's not supposed to be that long, um, so I'll have to fix that at some point as well. Um, but let's get so I started this um, with a custom buy button, different sizes for t shirts. That's basically where I'm going at right now with that, but let's pop open this one real quick and uh, see what's going on with this. See, this is correct. Something's wrong at the bottom here, but we're going to figure that out. And with uh, Google Chrome, we've got developer tools here, which are fantastic. We're going to scroll down. There we go. And we're going to figure out what this bottom part is. Maybe it's the... <clears throat> Actually, you know what? It might be because the page is so... Yeah, let's try this. Let's see what happens if we're like this. Yeah, okay, so we're fine with that page. I just had this down so low, so I'm going to put it about there because we haven't added content yet. Um, it'll be fine on a normal device. It should be fine. Um, so let me go over what I did here. You know, I'm just going to drag this down because that size is going to annoy me. Um, so let me move this page here. So I added... So I went to PayPal. Let me see, get the right link here. I got a video uploading, of course. Um, so PayPal.com, I made a Melted Gore uh, PayPal account just for this channel. Um, and I, uh, I used PayPal buttons. So what I did is I was originally going to do just a Buy It Now button. But then I was like, well, what if people want multiple shirts or whatever, multiple sizes? So I did a Create and uh, Add to Cart button, which is really cool. It gives you all the steps. I skipped all the steps. I uh, dropped down, filled this out real quick, copied the code, and then just edited all of the code. Not all of it, but um, I basically jumped in here, made my different sizes, and then uh, it basically gives you, let me see if I can create one, and I'll show you kind of like what I went through to do it. Um, so you come here. And let me see if I can, let's see. All right, yeah, so you basically come in here and you type in uh, Melted Gore T-Shirt, okay? And let's just say we want to call it Melted Gore T-Shirt 1. I don't know. I actually went through and made logical item numbers and stuff. Uh, and we're going to say it's $5, which actually, let's say nineteen ninety nine. Um and because I'm, I'm, I'm still playing with T-shirt prices. I have them at fourteen ninety nine now, but it might actually have to go up. So, uh, shipping, we'll just say two ninety nine, which is what I have now. Uh, so you can add a drop down, which is exactly what I did for sizes. I chose four options: uh, small, medium, large, extra large, um, customized text or appearance. Now this is the cool thing. So you can hit use your own button. So I basically just typed in. Melted Gore. I made a fake link. Okay, so it's www.meltedgore.com slash buy now button PNG. That was totally fake. So you can see it doesn't even come in here. Um, and actually, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do this. No, that's fine. Um, so <clears throat> I come in here, did all of that. As you can see, the button isn't showing up, but I just did that to get the, um, get the code in there that I'm using my own. Go through this stuff if you want to. Hit create button. Oh, okay. Menu name. Uh, sizes, I forgot that. And then create a button. 
Oh, what the hell? Uh, option price is required. Oh, shit, man, this is... I'm just trying to get through this real quick. All right, create a button. All right, so it brings you here, and you get all of this fun code. Okay, so I basically copied that, and I'm not going to go redo this, but in the store page, I came down here. I made another flex box in inside uh, one of the first columns, or rows, or whatever. Yeah, it'd be row. Uh, I pasted all the code here, um, actually right here. Let me uh, arrow that so it's separate. So right here to... Where does that end? Where does that end? Right down to, I think, here. I think that was all. Let's paste. Oop. Did not mean to do that. Um, so I came in, and this is what I edited right away. I uh, added a class for size drop text to change the text um, so it looked like this. So I added a class to edit that in the CSS for that, to make that kind of coincide with the text we have on the first page. I also used it to obviously up the size and make it more centered. Um, and then I added an option value. Instead of sizes, I changed it to select size. Um, so it says that's the default. Um, and then if you hit buy now, it pops up that says this is required, because right here I put in the required statement, so that way you have to pick one of these four. Um, so there's four options, obviously, uh, and then the buy, buy now button class I made to change the size of the image I made, um, and then I kept all that stuff the same. But right here, it would normally say uh, HTTPS slash slash www. Man, I'm screwing that up. I, oh my god, I cannot think right now. Oops, no, it was actually... Alright, so this is the link you would have seen if you used mine, okay? Um, but what I did is I created my own image, which I'll show you here in a second, and then I put in the local source, so that way it doesn't have to call to another location. It's locally in the images folder that this website's already referencing. And I figured that'd be a little easier, because um, this way you don't have any problems with the image not loading correctly, or... Um, it doesn't have to refer to another hosted link, which can kind of be a pain in the ass. Um, so I went into Photoshop, uh, and in our Meltigore folder, went to website first website. So right outside of this, I didn't put it in here because I didn't want the website, uh, I didn't want to store a uh, Photoshop document in the actual website. So I put it right outside, and then I saved the image there. And uh, I brought in two of the characters um, for this buy, buy now button. I might do uh, different ones later. Um, but you know what I just realized? Why? Looks like he was, he looks like a little see-through there. There we go. That looks better. Let's save that. And I'm going to save over. For some reason, he went a little see-through, but he wasn't, his opacity was fine. By now, button PNG. We're going to save this over. So I basically made this image. I had to play around with the, with the uh, clipping here. Um, so what I did there to get rid of all the extra is I went to uh, image, trim, and then I selected all four, hit OK, and it removes all of the extra till it's touching the edges of everything. It's just a lot easier for HTML layout. Uh, if you any of you know what I'm talking about, you know exactly the problems you can have with importing images from Photoshop. So I brought that image into the images folder, which I just realized is lowercase, so I gotta fix, nope, that's okay. And then I put it in here. I made the class buy now button, and I'm going to jump into CSS to show you. Um, so right down here, I made the size drop text, which is the cabin sketch, which we got from Google. And uh, I got the buy now button, um, the different settings for that, which is how we have this. Okay, so now. I got every single one. We can click small. Buy now. I might actually have to pop this open because this is the, um, you know, the, uh, it, it, PayPal's not reading it as a mobile because we're on an actual browser. So that's why this isn't mobile optimized. But when you're using a device, it actually will be. So I've 
gone in here multiple times. So you can see it's got the item number, which is a uh, Melted Gore Gamer T-shirt. Uh, so MGGT is my item number. And then the size is small and the size is extra large for that. And there's three of those and one of those. And it makes a cart and you can check out or you can click continue. And it brings you right back here, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I really love, yeah, so then I can go here and add a large. Um, I'm just going back in <clears throat> to uh, clear our cart. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove all of these. Um, let's make that zero and that zero and update. Um, so I'm really liking, I've never really used, actually this is my first time um, customizing PayPal uh, for a website and I'm actually, that's why I wanted to do it off camera because it was my first time, but I figured it out rather quick so I'm kind of upset I didn't uh, re record it. So, um, so the gamer t-shirt, that'll be the first one here just because it'll make things easier, uh, is this guy. So the regular gamer. The Gamer uh, Melted Gore. Um, so, where? I thought I made a. I thought I made those are sprites for a game. Um, I thought I made a t shirt mock up. Maybe I did not. Not in there. Be in here. Maybe it's in images. Oh, it is. Okay. So I went ahead and made a t-shirt mock-up uh, right here. And it's still kind of rough, but uh, I think it'll work fine. Um, and uh, I don't own this t-shirt, so I'm probably just going to pay an artist at some point to make one like an actual mock-up, or I'll just take a picture of a white tee and do it myself. But I basically found, I went to Vistaprint, actually, and I did their little customized art thing, added him, and then I just took a screenshot of that and then edited out the background so it's a transparent t-shirt graphic that we can add in. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy that name just because it'll make this easier. The name of the image. We're going to jump in here, and we want this to be right... We want it to be right above this because we're going to want hopefully this will work out well um with our uh do you get what i'm saying god i cannot speak right um let's see what do we want it to be um Alt uh, Gamer T-shirt, and that way we'll have. And just for now, I'm going to just see what this looks like. So let's jump over here. Yep. So that is massive. Um, and we can see that when we scroll over, it'll it's actually lined up right in the center though. So that's going to be awesome once we scale that down. Um, so let's make a class. Um, I'm going to put the class at the beginning though actually better practice I need to put a slash there to end an image I believe man sometimes I just no I don't need a slash what am I thinking see sometimes you just get so into the coding that you forget the best practice I'm gonna validate it all with uh, W3C school validator um, we're gonna call this a uh, t-shirt um, uh, t-shirt photo yeah, t-shirt photo, size. No, t-shirt photo is fine. And we're making that a class because we might want to recall that later on. We're just going to jump in here. We'll go down here. Um, and you know what? I'm going to put a, a comment here. Um, t T-shirt styles. And then what I like to do... Oops, is I like to make a line like this. And it kind of separates it a little better, and we'll put a space. And I'm going to go back through and do this just to keep things organized. Um, and then we're going to come down here and start our class T 
t-shirt photo. Okay. And this always indents. I think in the future I'm just going to leave the indent so I don't have to change it every time. I just like everything to be starting at the very left. Um, so let's just make the the width uh, 13 M's. All right, so that's where we're at now. So that's, oop, what happened there? All right, so we're going to need to separate those. We're going to want to put a line break in. Actually, you know what? We can, we can, if we change that from inline to block, that should actually solve our problem. Let's get rid of that page. We don't need that. We don't need that. We're just going to reopen. Oops, we need to go to store. And reopen this. Whoa, okay. It opened it in my uploading. Perfect. Um, so that's looking good, actually. Uh, so the next thing, I'm going to add a little space in there. So we're going to have um, margin will be set to auto. Padding we will set to uh, zero, but we will have, um, let's see, padding bottom 1EM. Oh, wait, no, no, what am I thinking? I want margin auto, but I want a margin bottom of 1EM. And that should, actually, you know what? I might be better off. No, that looks perfect. Okay. That's perfect just like that. We'll jump in here and um, we're going to want to put like a title above it, possibly. Above it or let's, hmm. you know what we're going to want? Let's try and break this out a little bit. I want this a little more organized. So this is the table. I'm just going to break this out. This table ends there, and then this is all the input stuff that's hidden. So this, this stuff actually doesn't matter so much right now. So let's just go back up to our, our TR, because that'll be the full, um, that's the whole, whole column, wait, no, TD. We'll just do that. We want. Hmm. Now I'm kind of confused. Where is that ending? That ends there. Oh, I see. So this is all there. And this ends. Where's the opening? Oh, up there. That's why that's confused me. I got to fix that. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then we're going to enter that and bring that back to line that up a bit. Okay. And let's tab those in. I'm just trying to organize these in a way that makes a little more sense. And then we'll move the input to its own line. I'm just trying to keep this organized because I've ran into problems before where, blah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, nope, input needs to be indented there. Okay. And that will just bug me if that isn't lined up because I have terrible OCD. Okay. So we got this row. We got that row. Mm, so how do we want to do this? Let's see. Table. No. We should do it all in one, shouldn't we? Shouldn't this all be... I feel like this. All right, let's see what happens. I'm just going to do a quick experiment. I would like this to. Oh, did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Is that okay? Let's save that. Oop. Let's save that and refresh this again. Oh, so that will work, which is awesome because that means. All right, so that is freaking awesome, and I will show you guys why. So we got one table here, which I'm going to comment this out real quick. Okay, so um, we will call this 
T-shirt table. T-shirt table. And we will do the line, of course. Just I like to do it. I actually learned it from a teacher I had. Um, and it, it's just, it's easier. It gives you a little more of like a break here. It makes it a hell of a lot easier. It's easier to make it longer too. This may seem really stupid to you guys, but seriously, if you guys ever do coding, any kind of web stuff, it's so much easier to do this ahead of time. Um, especially with the store HTML file because this is going to be the file we edit for every screen display. It'll just be easier. Um, so we've got one table and we have all this stuff inside this table. Okay, I'm going to move the select tags in because this is all one part and I want it to be indented so it's easier to break down later. Okay. So that's perfect. That's perfect. That ends there and that ends. Okay, so everything looks good. And what's really nice is right here, um, we have our t-shirt. So if I take that, so if I want to add another shirt, it's super easy. I just duplicate that. I jump back to the website. And now I have two. Okay? That's the nice thing here. And what we can also do is um, we can just take the center part and we can do a duplicate in there okay and we've got them side by side which is probably the better way um, to do it <clears throat> you know I mean I would also obviously put some spacing in there so if I was to come let's put a break and then copy it and see what it looks like come on did I do that right Oh, it's oh, it's because it's in the same row. So it'd probably be easier. Let's copy that and paste it. Whoa, okay, that is what is going on. All right, there we go. What does what is happening? Save. Come on. What the... F I hate this. This does this once in a while, and it's like, what the hell? It screws you all up. There we go. Uh, it'll probably be easier to do it this way. They're totally disappeared when I'm in full screen. But it'll probably be easier to do it this way for mobile. Um... Let's see, I'm trying to think of the best way to, because then here I could do a, a line break. Ooh. Ooh. Um, come back in. Is that even working inside a table? I don't even know. Let's just add a couple. I don't think it is, but I can fix that in styles. Ooh. Yep, no, that's fine. Uh, and I will do a class here. Class will be a t-shirt table and uh, let's actually let's add a second one in here Oop. because that way we can uh, we can style this ahead of time and then later on when I want to add multiple we don't have to worry about it and basically all I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna put a space in between um, so we're just gonna go in here and for now we're gonna select the table t-shirt table but we're also going to select a child tr td wait no it'd be tr so we're going to select t-shirt table okay which is uh this so we're selecting this and we're selecting the child tr which encloses the entire uh category so we're going to go back here and inside our styles Oop, we're going to want to space there, and we're just going to do a margin bottom of 1 EM, and that should ideally break that up a bit. Let's try 3, because it doesn't look like it did too much. Whoa, it's doing that again. Damn it.
Uh, let's save that there and then go back in here, save, open. Sometimes you just got to reload it. So that, hmm. That should be breaking it up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you know why. I've got to do this. I got to do padding. 1 EM. So let's jump back here and we're going to select this. And when we preview this, it should be highlighted, which it is. Now let's select this and see what's going on there. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> Oop. Um. So TR. Maybe it's. Maybe we should try highlighting TD. There we go. See, now it's working. Um, and I will show you again, just to be sure. Uh, when we didn't select TD, and we save it, and we jump back in here, and preview it, they're up close again. So when we, we did have to select TD, so that was my bad. So we're okay now. We got this. So we're going to save that, jump back here, save that, open this, reload, and we've got some good space in here. Um... So, yeah, so that's looking pretty good. Um, it kind of spaces out this stuff, too, which I'm not too fond of. I kind of wanted the sections to be spaced. So let's try this one more time where we go into TR, and let's just do 10 uh, just to see what happens uh, because I just want to see... Still, no, it's still not going. Uh, all right, well, we can change the other styles to make this work. All right, so we'll put that back to TD. I'm going to take the t-shirt photo, bump that down to 0.5, and I'm going to um, put the margin top that we had on the picture, the custom button, and we're going to drop that down a little bit, and that should solve some of our problems there we go that's see how that's kind of broken together now um, the sizes text has a little bit too much padding there I'm not fond of so let's select that tag and let's see what's going on here so that's got so let's jump in here and find the drop text and we will do a padding um, of zero and let's see what happens with that No, that's not the page I want to see. It's this one. Thank you. Okay. That didn't really help at all. Um, so let's just go back here, and we'll reset that. It's not a huge deal. Actually, if we make this text 1.8, that'll probably help. Actually, you know what? I just fucking realized what we should be doing with that. It shouldn't say sizes. That should say um, gamer gamer t shirt all caps. And we're gonna change this just because it'll be easier later. I'm gonna change this to t-shirt title drop text. We're gonna jump in here to make sure it's the same because t-shirt drop text. Title, drop text. Save that, and we'll save that, and we're going to jump back in just to make sure everything looks good and dandy. And it looks better, I think, because now it, actually we know what we're doing here. We got a real title. I'm just going to call it shirt. Same t-shirt on everything. It's kind of redundant, and I don't like it. What if we say melted gore gamer t-shirt? Something like that. I know it's going to be huge, but if we made that small, I'm just experimenting here for a bit. 
Let's make that four. Jump back in here, save, reload. Okay. Um, let's move this over. Maybe we can actually get live styling going on. It doesn't always work, which is annoying. Um, I'm going to get this. There we go. That should be good. Uh, let's go back to styles, and let's just make it one. Ah, see, now it's actually doing live. Melted Gore Gamer Shirt, or should I just do Gamer Shirt? I'm just going to do Gamer Shirt. We'll bump that back up to 1.8. Uh, we'll jump, because I'll just put, like, a main title for Melted Gore Shirts. Or Melted Gore uh, T-Shirts or something. Or Gore Shirts. That's what they should be. Gamer Gore shirt, possibly. That's good, right? Gamer Gore. Yeah, Gamer Gore shirt. That works good. And then down here, oh, I got to change that. That's why that's coming out that way. And we will call this one uh, Crazy crazy Gore shirt. Um, and, I mean, I've, I've got to make a whole other button for that. Change the... Uh, you know, the the product, because if we come in here, that's a Crazy Gore shirt now, and we select small. Uh, <coughs> oh, crap. Uh, cr wait a second. That, that's a problem. I just realized I don't need to make that required, because there's going to be more than one item on the page. Yeah, so we don't want to make it required. Because um, if we do that, I'll show you again. If we do, if we made it required, it would require you to select a value for each shirt. So it would basically force you to make a shirt. And that's a problem because it's not fucking working now. Um, ah, I was, I think I removed required from the wrong. Oh, you know what? I only think I removed required. I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, do that. And let's see what happens if we just hit buy now. Is it just going to go to the empty cart? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. This is troublesome, and I need to figure this out. I want it to be, like, whatever they select, they just buy. I don't know. And I don't want to make each shirt its own page. That'll be a pain. Hmm. I gotta figure that out. I really gotta figure out how out ugh, how I'm gonna do that. Shit. Where are we at for time? Thirty three. Um how are we gonna do this? So if I have that required, it'll require require a value oh if I do value of none would that count as a value hmm <laughs> I don't know I have no idea what I should do If they click that button, it goes to their carts, possibly. But the problem is, it's not that easy. Um, shit. Ugh. Let's try this. Let's see if we get... 
I don't think that's gonna work. I my plan was terrible there. Um I'll come back to that at another time. Uh, we'll stick with that. We'll grab another t-shirt in here. No one's going to push buy it now if they don't want one, I guess. So, I mean, if they do, they're obviously going to run into an error. I'm going to remove that from the cart to see that error again. I just wish I could customize that error pop-up. So I could be like, there's nothing in your cart, maybe. I don't know. What if we do a medium there and a large there? What happens? Only one. Okay. Um, maybe it's because they're the same item. That could be. You know what, I'll keep it like that for now. Uh, we'll just keep two shirts. And uh, I will wrap this one up here because this has gone on a while. Uh, and yeah, so we are making progress. I will have to fix that. Um, but I will talk to you guys soon. Stay melted, everybody. Hope you're enjoying this. And if you'd like, send me some fan mail. P.O. Box 184, Corning, New York. 14830. I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye, everyone.